child. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Yeah, so um, I want to come back to what you mentioned at the beginning when you was introducing yourself. You mentioned that um, you help sisters discover their femininity. femininity. Um, so yeah, your can you explain how does, how does that work? Um, I found over the past few years from before Islam and in Islam that this feminine movement has destroyed women and we no longer want to be women and we don't even know that we don't want to be women and the only way to be a woman is to imitate a man mm. and I've noticed like what I, what I noticed was people was just women were just failing by the wayside and I wanted to start to speak out to try and help women understand why they are what they are and develop it and also harness it and use that to enhance their lives rather than fighting your fitra to be honest with you so one of the things i always tell a woman is this is something my grandmother told me and she always used to tell me go in water it come out flesh and bone and <laughs> Yep, that's what she said. <laughs> and she was talking about obviously getting pregnant and mm. having a child, but she would always say it in the most random situations. Mm. Like, say if um, someone said a bad word to you and then you get really upset, she would say, Go in water, it come out flesh and bone. And basically, what she was trying to teach you as a woman is that you will always grow what you are given. Right. And no matter what it is. So, if someone just imagine if someone who you like or your husband or your mother and gave you a compliment and said oh you look beautiful today that whole that one sentence you have now blown it up and you are now feeling great you're 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 pumped and mm -hmm. you've made it huge but then when somebody tells you um you're ugly or you smell mm. you're gonna take that same piece and you're gonna grow and all of a sudden it's just that person's opinion and it's probably not even true, but you are, it has taken over your whole being and your whole body. And this is something that I've seen that women are trying to fight. And what I'm trying to tell women is, this is who you are. This is what you're meant to do. Mm. This is how you were created. You multiply, you, you endorse, you make things bigger. So you need to be really careful about what you entertain and what you bring in and what you watch and who you listen to and who you take from because you will grow it no matter which way it is so once you understand that about your feminine energy you're much more careful about where you place yourself and where, what you do with yourself because you will grow it every single time and i've noticed when i start to explain this theory to other women they sit back and they think oh my gosh yes you're absolutely right i did someone told me this and i put a proportion my child smiled at me that morning and later on in the afternoon i was elated and, and when people start to understand that this is our natural state this is how we are you are much more able to enhance your life and use that knowledge you got to just bring about better things in your life and and stop being trying to be so you know, you know, I'm going to be a superwoman and I'm going to go out and I'm going to earn money and I'm going to da And then all of a sudden you're just trying to be a man. You're not a man, you're a woman. Mm. So when women come to me and they ask me questions, I just teach them through what feminist, what femininity is and how that can help you and how you can develop that to be the best version of you. And 